So what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So got some new content for you. It's going to be weekly mock draft Mondays. It's self-explanatory. You will get a mock draft from me every single Monday up until the week before the draft. Basically how we're going to go about it is this. We're going to be doing a two round mock draft. We're not trading the pick and we're going to be utilizing the draft networks mock draft machine and we'll be doing that until the Cowboys get their compensation picks for the 2021 NFL draft. Once we get announced those picks, I will then expand it to a three round mock draft and that will allow me to trade the picks. So that will be what we're doing. And then once we get about two to one week before the draft, we'll be doing a full mock draft, whether it be live or on a video that I'll decide. And I'll be trying to live stream the draft if I can, but that's a whole nother thing. So I hope you guys enjoy that content from now and into the future. And before we get started, if you guys could please make sure to drop a like as well as subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on new content when it comes out. Now, right now the Dallas Cowboys hold the 10th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. And the best part about that is it gives the Cowboys a ton of flexibility. They're in that top 10 selection spot. They have a ton of options that will most likely drop to them. They can trade that pick for more picks if they so desire, and they can trade that pick for a player if they want to. My guess is that Dallas will just select a player as is, right? Like they'll just take a player where they're at right there. They're not gonna move either way up or down. So that is going to be my mindset going into these next couple mock drafts. So who am I looking to pick with that 10th overall pick? Who are my targets? And is there any scenario in which I would possibly trade down? Well, in my honest opinion, the biggest need the Cowboys need to address is cornerback, defensive back, however you want to put it. Obviously, safety is up there, but I think with your first selection, you need to go with a corner. Now, there are two options that come to mind. In my opinion, it really comes down to, do you want just the instant production or do you want to go with the biggest like potential and for me these guys are prospects i want the biggest guy with the biggest potential so for me i went with caleb farley because patrick sertan actually went with the ninth pick to the broncos in my simulation so i went with caleb farley cornerback out of virginia tech and at the end of the day this is how i look at it if you want just the surefire NFL ready guy from what I've done through my research, from what some experts have said, film, you name it, they have basically put Patrick Sertan the second from Alabama as the guy where it's like, hey, I want a guy that can step in and be a solid starting corner. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, why would you take a risk with a guy like Caleb Farley? Me personally, I think Caleb Farley is the best cornerback prospect in the draft from what I've heard, done research on, and looked at. So for me, I think that getting Caleb Farley at 10 is a massive set of value right there. Now, if it were to be the case in which both Farley and Sertan were not on the board at pick 10, which could happen, there are a couple alternates that I can see occurring in that I want to be upset with the Cowboys taking this specific prospect if number one let's say Tyron Smith were to retire and the Cowboys were feeling we need an offensive tackle to replace Tyron Smith I think that obviously if Sewell isn't on the board I think the next guy you should go with is Rashawn Slater out of Northwestern I do like him from what I've seen from what I've heard from what research I've done I think that he can definitely be a solid good tackle in this draft if things work out to where he goes um in terms of if that situation were not to happen and more specifically i just want to reiterate i know some people might say in the comments space why would that be your alternate why the hell would we take an offensive tackle we need help on this defense here's the thing you need to ensure that you're investment at the quarterback position pays off so you need to make sure that man will not get hurt and i'm not saying dax injury prone just because he had one freak injury what i'm getting at is you need to make sure he can stay upright to do his job so i think that if you can get another guy in here to replace tyron smith if he is to go and you basically can have that like sure end guy to be your tackle 
I would not be that taken back if the Cowboys were to go that route. Now, there's another situation in which if in the same instance, Farley and Sertan are off the board, but, you know, Tyron is still here. In that instance, I would go a couple ways. So for me, J.C. Horn, cornerback out of South Carolina, is another option. If you're still looking to get a corner, another option that the Cowboys have available to them is the selection of Quiddy Pay, edge rusher out of Michigan. I wouldn't be upset if the Cowboys did that. I look at some of these other prospects on the list I'm looking at, and to be honest with you, I would I would probably trade down if I really were set into what I would do, because the way I look at it is that it's either you take the prospects that I mentioned given the situation, or you would trade down because these other guys, I feel like you can get them later in the draft. So when it came to my second round pick at pick 42, I went with Nick Bolton, linebacker out of Missouri. Now, if you are someone that's starting to look at the draft process and specifically some of these prospects like Nick Bolton, what's weird about this is that I'm shocked he was still on the board. I thought he would go a bit sooner than this, especially for teams that do need linebacker help. Because from what I've been getting at with experts and their opinions in terms of and just their information and just my research, he appears to be one of those prospects that has a tremendous amount of value, especially if you can get him towards the end of the first round or in the early second. And from what I've seen, I would like him in the secondary. I think that he would be a very nice fit here. And we just need another linebacker in here, um, especially a young one. Need someone that we can come in here for four years and can just give a solid production because I'm worrying about LVE's production in terms of him being hurt. And with Jalen, who knows if Jalen is going to be on this team past next year, especially with our new defensive coordinator hire. So I went with Nick Bolton, linebacker in Missouri. Now, if there were alternates for me to select, now there is Trevon Moreg, I think that's how you pronounce it. Safety out of TCU, he would be a nice selection in my opinion. Um, if you were looking for offensive line help i think um you have samuel cosme you have wyatt davis out of ohio state um that's if you were looking for offensive line help but in my opinion i wouldn't look that way maybe asante samuel samuel jr if you were looking for a cornerback but again i'm based off of again what i've seen i i don't think i'd feel comfortable with that value right there if that were up to me, I would just trade down and try to get one of these other guys, um, depending on who's on the board. And again, draft day can be weird. No one expected, you know, C.D. Lamb to drop the pick 17, okay? So I'm hoping the Cowboys can replicate their success in the 2021 draft as they did in the 2020 draft in terms of picking the best prospect on the board, um, and we'll see what happens. So, um I think that will do it for this video. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and put your mock drafts down below, who you know who you selected and who you think the Cowboys should take, by all means, put that in the comment section below. I'll take a look. Um, and before you head out, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll catch you guys out in the next one, guys. All right? Have a good one. Bye-bye.